What's up, guys? How's it going? Italo Castro here. I hope everybody's doing well. Uh, welcome to this first episode of this series of discussions that I intend to uh, release regarding artworks and everything that involving a creative process, right? At least my creative process. This first episode is about my newest painting, which is the Royal Pair. I'm a very passionate student of Carl Jung and uh, everything that is related to alchemy and knowing thyself, right? Knowing myself, knowing uh, how to become a better vision of ourselves, right? And uh, ultimately, that's what we are here for. In psychology, specifically the uh, Jungian psychology, which is the analytical psychology, helps a lot to uh, visualize and mapping out what is actually going on with you, right, in terms of uh, your soul, right? And hence, um, that's why I'm so into it. And I believe that it's something that it's innate in all of us, this uh, um, urge to know yourself, to know thyself, right? And uh, this piece specifically, is a um, an attempt of myself to uh, display on a physical level uh, an imagery of how an individual would balance the two impulses that exist in the psyche. The white line is a lioness and it represents the female instinct in every single one of us. Carl Jung used to call it anima, and uh, for all the years, for all the centuries, for all the millennia, uh, lion has been a, a very powerful symbolism to represent uh, innate forces within us. In certain ways, uh, the white lion is a, a uh, representative of what could be your nourishment side of yourself. We have both unbalanced aspects, either related to female or either related to males, right? You can develop a very strong male uh, unity within yourself, but you, in that case, you kind of sabotage your female part because the truth is every single one of us, doesn't matter if you are a woman or a man, every single one of us has to instincts there's two parts that becomes one the problem is that sometimes one aspect becomes more um, predominant than the other and it generates uh, a series of um, disturbance and uh, turbulence uh, regarding that aspect let's say for instance if you are a guy and you neglect your female side of yourself it will start to feed on a negatively way and you start to get uh let's say um, your nourishment your nurturing side of yourself it's not going to show up very much in your daily life uh, the same goes for a woman who develops a very a strong nurturing loving uh, personality but neglects the force, the straightness and the uh, powerful uh, aspect of the male uh, side of the psyche. In that case, this woman will always chase for a man in order to compensate this um, uh, inability to deal with problems in life, to take decisions, etc. Right? So, uh, you can see how important it is to balance this aspect. So the red lion represents the male side of the soul. The red lion, it's uh, related to Mars, the planet Mars. The spirit of uh, Mars in ancient Greek times, in ancient Roman times, in ancient Egyptian times, it represents the uh, male, properly saying, you know is the warrior and you need this energy 
to move forward in life, to achieve something in life. Hence, that's why the color of this uh, lion is red. It's a representation of this blood of life that flows within you, you know? But you cannot only feed that side of yourself. You have to feed the white part of yourself, which is the lioness, the white lion, right? The uh, nourishing, the loving part. If you have two aspects, you become a powerful person, a powerful individual. And uh, that's why I put an individual, a figure, a human figure in the middle, pointing up, pointing down in terms of uh, balance. You can uh, see that I put some Maria, uh, almost like an Egyptian uh, outfit on the human figure in the painting. And that's just to represent that alchemy, this ancient, amazing art that help us to see the world in a proper way, without the veil, helps you see yourself in a truthful way. Alchemy originates in Egypt. Egypt is not the original name of Egypt, it's Kimia, Kimi, hence alchemy, from alchemy, from Kimia. So alchemy originated thousands of years ago, God knows when, but pretty sure way more than we are uh, have been thought in history books. That's for sure. We can talk more about this. And uh, I'm very excited to talk about my next painting. Perhaps about this one right here, right? Which is the uh, Magnum Opus number one, which is also related to uh, alchemy and human psychology and human history, human psyche and the soul. So I'm very excited to talk about this, right? So if you're interested, and join me in this journey uh, make sure you follow me here and i will be here right excited to see you next time okay peace out hey guys i hope you enjoyed this video and by the way if you want to hear more of this contents about artworks comics painting psychology and how these topics help us to understand the human soul please hit the bell notification, like this video, and subscribe to the channel to see the next episode, right? <laughs> By the way, this is me doing Qigong, a martial art that helps to unlock the meridians of the body and provides energy flow. We can talk more about this on the next episode as well. Why not? Hey, see you all there and have a nice day. Bye.